Right, guys, how's it going? So on today's one, we are now going to be fitting um, the drilled hubs. Uh, well, yeah, we're going to be fitting them. But first, what we're going to be doing is drilling the disc because um, obviously it's five by one twenty. Now it's pretty simple. Um, all we need to do is just get the hub, line it up. Yeah, we're just going to line it up this way. Uh, put in the little locating pin. If it goes in, pin screw bolt um, and then just put in the wheel nuts as well um, i'm just going to put these in gently but they will get done up um well hand tight still uh, but just so these are as equal as possible really so i've tried a few different ways of marking these out um and each time they've been a little bit off the problem is i think my uh i've only got up to 13 um, and realistically i think i want to do like a 14 or maybe even a 15 uh, or something like that um so they have been a little bit off and i've had to sort of uh like machine them around a bit with either like a drill bit or i've been using the dremel um just so they fit better but i've sort of thought this might help so this is a 10 mil drill bit and i'm basically just doing this with the hand drill um and it basically it, it fits in there pretty much uh snug um and what i can do is then just push down on it uh obviously being careful with the threads just doing a little bit um and that will leave the mark there um as you can see i've done it on these ones already uh, and then what i'll do is i'll take this out uh drill some pilot holes because i've got a pillar drill here so i'll just use that uh with like a i don't know a four mil drill bit and then i'll go in and use uh and step it up Okay, so I have drilled those all out and this is actually um, the best I've done it. So these have fit perfectly straight away. Um, so I'm definitely, if I do it again, I'll be doing that hole using the hand drill um, through there first. Um, now, this is where the point, like I say, I, I've used a 13. I think I want to upgrade to a, a um, so like a 14 or a 15. You can see the size difference there. Um, I'll do that when, because I'm going to upgrade this to studs anyway, um, just get some of the screwing ones. Um, but I'll do that then. I ain't too bothered at the moment. Uh, I just want to get the card done. So let's move on to fitting this. Um, I'm going to chuck this in the freezer uh, again for a little bit, um, just to make it a little bit smaller for when we put it into the bearing on the uh, trailing arm. Right, so fresh out of the freezer. Plonk that bad boy in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna level this up so it's sitting flat. Right, so we've got that sitting on there now. Um, we're going back to using these again. Um, right, so this one fits in there nicely. Uh, gonna be using this one again. Um, down there somewhere. Where is it? Boop. There it is. Right, so now that that's done up, you know, with assortment of stuff and a bent thread. Um, I'm just going to do it up using the spanner and socket. I don't, I don't need to show you this. You've already seen me do this. Uh, so we'll come back to it being done. Okay, so up next we have the toe brackets. Now, these are the Dulce Fab ones. Um, so as you can see, they are a lot wider. Well, not a lot wider. The bolt holes are a lot there. Well, elongated. Basically, this is going to help with toe correction. So... Um, this is one thing that the BMWs always suffer with. So these ones will be okay for E36 and E46 because they run the same rear setup. Um, basically, so with the toe correction, when you lower the uh, BMWs, uh, quite often um, the wheels will tow in. Um, and obviously you don't want that. You want your rear wheels running straight. So this will help um, with lowering or if you are running... Um, so wide wheels and you need a lot of camber to fit them under the arches, uh, they'll also be able to help to correct that so you can still run straight, uh, nice straight wheels. Um, these are made of stainless steel, they're TIG welded together, um, so these are really nice and durable um, and they're not going to rust up like the OEM ones do. So these ones are my original ones. As you can see, they're black, but that's because I painted them ages ago um, and there's loads of rust and stuff under here. So um, they'll go in the bin and then when they have the nice shiny new replacement um they're pretty simple and easy to fit they basically just go on to here um 
as you can see i've already got poly bush ones i would recommend doing that and they come with a slim fit bolt as well which will help um when you put it in the car to help it get further over um to like the bodywork uh because a lot of times if you've got like say a hex bolt um as you can see they would stick out a lot more so this will help get the uh the most toe you need if you're running a lot of camber or whatever so let's get these on um yeah i'm just gonna bolt them on so they do go on like this sorry my bushings stick out a little i haven't i don't think i've got them in well it's these plates of uh these plates here are bent over time so <laughs> so yeah that's them on um they're a proper nice fit so put that in uh, i think that looks like an eight mil allen key so i haven't got one here what's this we're going to use the Torx bit in there. Just go get an Allen key, Ben. Um, and then we just have what I think is an 18mm nut on the bottom. And then just do those up nice and tight. And that's all good. So, yeah, these, uh, I think these retail about £80. Um, as you can see, they're definitely worth the quality. Um, worth the money for the quality. So, yeah, I'm going to tighten these up and we'll go put it on the car. Cool. So, that's it all in. Stuff you can't really see. Uh, yeah. I just need to bash that bit in, obviously, there, the nut. As you can see, you've got a lot of adjustment still on the toe bracket. Um, I've just wanged it all, all the way over to the left-hand side, because um, hopefully that'll be enough. I've, I haven't got the tyres yet for my wheels, um, and obviously I need to replace my um, my uh, camber on there, because I've once bent it and had to weld it back up, or snapped it and had to weld it back up, so I need to get a new one of those anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. There's not really much... I needed to show you in regards of putting it back on, it just goes on the way it came off. Um, I will say put the drive shaft into the train arm first, it makes it a lot easier. But yeah, that's the uh, video finish, so uh, holler at your boy for the pool work.